Hey guys, so if you watched yesterday's video where I talked about the new Wet n Wild collection that has been launched at CVS, then you know that I told you I was going to do a makeup tutorial with the other palette in the collection. So I thought it would be fun if I used as many Wet n Wild products in this video as possible. So we are starting at the very beginning with my Wet n Wild grapefruit mint lip treatment. I love this. And as soon as I finish my hard candy lip repair oil, which I'm so close to being done with that, um, I'm going to be switching back to this so that I can finish this. But I love this. And I'm really looking forward to using this every day instead of the hard candy lip treatment. Okay, so next will be primer. And this is a new product from Wet n Wild. It is the Impossible, Impossible Primer Stick. I don't know why I just smelled it just because uh, it's been a while. I haven't used this since I first bought it, so I couldn't remember um, whether it had a scent or not. So I'm going to use this. And it has a cooling sensation. Okay, now I don't have a corrector by Wet n Wild because I don't think they make one. If they did, I would try it though. So I'm just going to use my Lottie London corrector and this Sephora concealer brush. And this is just to cover up like any imperfections. So I use a corrector like as a concealer because I feel like it works. I feel like correctors work better than concealer does for imperfections or discoloration. Of course, that's what corrector is supposed to be for. It's supposed to be to correct the color of your skin, but I also feel like it has concealer properties just by doing so. Okay, so next I'm going to do Let's do concealer next. I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Mega Last Incognito All Day Full Coverage Concealer. And I have it in the shade Light Beige. And it's been a while since I used this so I don't remember what I think about this. Okay, that worked pretty well for my concealer. So I'm just popping a little bit on top of the corrector in the other area where I put it. 
Okay, next is going to be Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, and this is the dewy one, and my shade is Rose Ivory, and this has been sitting in the drawer. So if your foundation has been sitting around, it's always good to shake it well um, because, you know, it will separate, especially if it's been sitting around like for a while, like I said. And not wild about the applicator on this, but just gonna take the paddle applicator and put this. Now this, I do remember that I really like this foundation. One of the reasons why I like it is the color is absolutely perfect for me. And, you know, that's a good good start with foundation is if you can get a perfect color match then of course you're gonna like that foundation more than some of your other foundations because there are some foundations that I have that I really like the formula but the color isn't perfect All right, did I did I blend it well enough? I, usually there's always one area that doesn't look as blended. Okay, I think I think I did good. All right, next is going to be powder. I don't have a Wet n Wild powder to use, so I'm going to use my Elf Halo Glow Setting Powder in Light Pink. I love these brushes, uh, these sassy and chic brushes that I got from Dollar Tree for powder. They're so nice. It's funny because I used to always use a more dense brush for powder, but I'm liking the looser bristle brush. I don't know, I just feel like it works better for some reason. Okay, next is contour. And I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contour Palette in Dulce de Leche. And I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques contour brush. And I use, um, I use this for contour and bronzer. Let's start with contour, though. All right, next is blush, and I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Vitamin E Blush Makeup Stick, and we're going to use the shade Dusty Pink. And 
And this is a twist up. So let's do let's do three dots. And my essence blush brush that I usually use is not going to work well for this particular product. I'm going to need something more dense. So let's use um actually this this elf putty primer applicator would actually work really well for that so yeah for some for a product like this i'm going to need a more dense brush okay that's a pretty color and it's got a bit of a sheen to it so I'm just doing three dots with the largest being furthest to the apple part of my cheek. Yeah, that is a pretty color. Okay. Now we're going to go in with the um, highlighter from the new collection that I talked about in yesterday's video. So this is the Date or Dominate Liquid Highlighter. And this time we're going to be a little more aggressive with um, the amount of product that I use. So I'm going to go... I did not wipe off the applicator. We're going to do two dots and then go in with the makeup sponge. I just want to do a more pronounced highlight than I did yesterday. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, so what do we have next? We have eyes. Did I forget anything? I'm just looking over, scanning over the products here. You know what? It's the next thing I think we should do is brows. So I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Kit in Ash Brown. And then I'm going to use my Moda brow brush. So first I'm going to go into the wax. And I'm going to run some of that over my brows. And then I'm going to go into this uh, lighter shade in the middle here. And I'm just going to carve out my brow. And then I'm going to flip it around the brush around to the other side and blend that out and see how close we are. So as you can see, I'm going to need a little more color towards the beginning here. So when I do the beginning part of my brow, I flip the brush around so that it goes up straight up and down. Then I flip it back sideways to do the underneath part of the beginning and brush it through again
Oh, went a little ham with that one. Oh. All right, now, how are we going to fix that? Um, do we make the other brow darker or... Hmm. Wow. What if I take more wax? Will that lighten it? Or just make the brow hairs stiffer? I don't think we have any choice but to make the other brow darker. Because it's not like with blush, you know, you can't, can't take it away once it's on there. I haven't used this kit in a long time, and uh, so I'm a little out of practice with it. Because, you know, all brow products are not created equal, that's for sure. So... I forgot how pigmented this was. Okay, so, wow, my brows are way, way too dark. Um, hmm. I think what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to shut the camera off, and I think I'm going to remove this. This looks bad. <laughs> Okay, so I took that off and um, went back to what I normally use, which is the e.l.f. Shape and Stay Brow Pencil, which is wax. And then I use MAC Omega Eyeshadow because that other one was way too dark. And using the right brow color makes a big difference. All right, so we'll take it from there. So now I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Mega Last Eyeshadow Primer. Back to using the Wet n Wild products again. And I'm just going to use one little dot over the entire eye area. Making sure that I get in these outside corners really well. Okay, so, so yeah, this was the other new palette from that collection, Dominate Tricks. And here is what we are working with. Now, right off the bat, I do not see like a brow bone highlight shade um, because, you know, neither one of these are going to work for that. Um, so, hmm, trying to decide how I would like to be able to use all four of these colors in some capacity. So, I wonder. Yeah, see, that's like a grayish beige color, so it isn't light enough to use as a highlight because my skin is lighter than that. Um... So I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to use all four of these because what would you even do with that, you know? So I'm going to use this uh, rosy color in the crease. Let's start with that. And I think it would make sense to use my ColourPop Bear With Me first. Because that should pair up perfectly with that color. Let's 
So I just put that in the crease and a little bit in the outside part of the lid. Yeah, those colors should pair really well together. All right, now let's go into that rosy color with this uh, Moda crease brush. And we're just going to go deep into the crease and leave that other color pop peeking up a bit. And I'm not going to go back and forth between the eyes because it'll take forever if I do. So let's switch now to the AOA Studio E131 brush from shopmissa.com. And let's go into this, uh, how would you describe it? Because it's light brown, but it's got silver shimmers running through it but the predominant color is brown and we're going to put that on the list it's it's like a gold gold with silver shimmer really pretty And I think what I'm going to do is, since that's a gold, why don't we take the Wet n Wild uh, Contour Palette and go into the highlight shade and use that as our highlight. That works. And now, here's where it gets kind of scary, because that black is loaded with glitter. So it isn't a color that I would normally use in the outer part of an eye look. Um, so let's, let's take a detail brush first. And let's first put some along the lower lash line very carefully whoa um yeah this is this is going to be tricky all right let's take a clean brush and just barely touch that black and put that in the outside part of the eye. Be very, very careful how much you put on your brush if you decide to do this the way I'm doing it. Because you can always add more, but you can't take it away, like with the, um, the brows. And I don't want to have to start all over again. So I'm just going a little bit at a time and blending as I do. So I'm just barely gonna touch this
I'm trying to fade it back a little. Okay, I want to make sure that I get the right shape, so... Focusing on blending out these edges and trying to form that shape as I do. Okay, all right. Um, I'm going to shut off the camera and try very hard to do the other eye exactly like this. It's That's one of the hardest things about makeup. And then I'll come back and we will move on. Okay, so I did the other eye, but I really wanna use this other shade. So I thought, what could I do with that? So let's take a clean brush and take pick up some of that and let's put it in the inner part of my crease because where it's a neutral color why not and then we'll just bring it up to where the black starts yeah okay that works yeah, well, I really wanted to use every single color in the palette. Okay, good. Now we're going to take my Wet n Wild Lash Curler and curl my lashes. And I see why this is the Dominate palette of the two. Because of the black, I guess. But I don't know, the other one was the date one, and that had those bold red tones in it. So I think that it would have made more sense to put softer colors in that other palette if that was the date one. It was almost like they made two Dominate palettes. But then again, I did use that really deep very in yesterday's video as a blush, not as an eyeshadow. Oh my God, can you imagine how bold that eye look would have been if I had used that as an eyeshadow? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's good. And of course, I'm going to use the new Wet n Wild So Defined Mascara. This is awesome, you guys. If you haven't tried this yet and you're looking for a new mascara, I love, love, love this. And the only reason why I haven't been using it lately is I'm trying to use um, my oldest products first. and stop being so wasteful when it comes to my makeup. So what I'm trying to do with my videos is incorporate older things into the video, but still show you new things in the process. Like some of these products that I used in today's video I haven't used them in a long time, but that brow kit, I, I might as well just throw that out because there really isn't any way that I can make that work. Because the other color that I didn't use is even darker than the one that I did use, but I figured ash brown, I might be able to work with that when I bought it, but no, it's just a completely wrong color. For my brows when it comes to brows the correct color is everything 
You can definitely sacrifice on the formula of your brow products if you've got the right shade. This is such a nice mascara, you guys. Okay. All right, now we are moving on to the lips. And I'm going to use the LA Colors Auto Lip Liner in the shade Pinky just because it goes really well with the lip product that I picked out by Wet n Wild that I wanted to use. So first I'm going to line my lips. And then I'm going to tilt it a little bit. And I'm going to fill them in. And we're going to use the Wet n Wild Mega Slicks Lip Gloss in the shade Low Key Pink. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I like that color. Um, so the only thing left is setting spray, and I do not have a Wet n Wild setting spray. So, of course, we're going to use the Milani Make It Last original setting spray. This is my favorite. My other setting sprays just sit there because I always want to reach for this. So that's just going to take down any powdery stuff we have going on here. Well, this is certainly a dominate look <laughs> with that black, but I really wanted to use every shade in the palette. So this is the finished look for the new Wet n Wild Date or Dominate, Dominate Tricks palette. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, you know what to do. Bye. See you in the next one.